The CIA testing birth control on unsuspecting women in Puerto Rico. What's the most ducked up thing the US government has done? Oh yay, it's my favorite viewer, back again for another alien radio story time. Thanks for joining us. Since you're already here, can you do your boy Andrew a favor? Can you hit that like button and subscribe? I wouldn't want to miss any more story times with you. And if you do, I'll make sure to clear your student loan debt. Anyways, let's get into the stories. Agent Orange depleted uranium arms that polluted battlefields, people's homelands, and left generations of people with birth defects after the war was done. I'm gonna go with not doing anything to stop the brutal lynching, rape and murder of African Americans up until the 60s. The Trail of Tears is pretty up there for most ducked up thing. Edit yes I know slavery happened, I'm not arguing that this was worse, I just named the first thing that popped into my head. I mean, there was the time the National Guard shot and killed coal miners and their families, who were being horribly exploited by coal companies, so they were striking. See also. The Ludlow Massacre. And the time they decided to routinely sterilize Native American women. And the Guatemala syphilis experiments. Well this probably isn't the worst thing America has done since it didn't happen, but Operation Northwoods. This was a proposed false flag attack on US soil that would justify going to war with Cuba. It was rejected by Kennedy, but approved by every man before him. It's stuff like this that makes the whole 9-11's inside job conspiracy sound a little less wacky, because this was essentially the same thing. The Diego Garcia incident in 1968, which is also one of the worst things the UK government has done. For the UK to continue purchasing nuclear missiles from America, they asked to rent out the British island of Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean to use as a naval base. The UK then subsequently sent soldiers onto the island, forced all of the inhabitants off of the island, killed anybody who resisted, destroyed all homes and killed all the animals, so US soldiers could then turn the island into a naval base. Any ex-inhabitants who tried to speak out about the incident were immediately silenced and punished, and the details of the incident were only recently made public. The island is still a joint UK-US naval base to this day. Hard to rank them, but the Gulf of Tonkin incident was a US false flag operation to establish the pretext to invade Vietnam to stop the spread of communism. This led to the absolutely useless deaths of millions of military and civilians, only to have the US pull out and cede control of the entire country to communist control. The most ducked up thing about it is that our government knew it was an unwinnable war, but we stayed there anyway, throwing more bodies on the pile. The news media kept a daily running count of US dead. The US government measured success in term of number of enemy dead. The silencing, embarrassing, and killing of Gary Webb. Gary Webb was an investigative journalist who proved that the CIA was selling massive amounts of drugs, particularly cocaine, to, typically black, poor neighborhoods all over the US. This was in order to fund an overthrow of the Nicaraguan government by US-friendly terrorists during the 90s. He was forced to resign, disgraced, blacklisted, divorced, and found dead with two bullets through his head in 2004. It was ruled a suicide despite the facts he owned no guns, and it being two bullets through the head in a suicide. I think the CIA raping and torturing US citizens is up there, they also imported and distributed drugs to black and Mexican neighborhoods. The tests they did on people are known as MK Ultra. I'm pretty sure. The government also made an agreement with Japan to not hold them accountable for their crimes against humanity, if Japan gave the US the results of their horrible experiments, Japan raped and tortured their own citizens, but the level of cruelty was beyond imagination. Surgeries done without anesthesia, weapons testing on live subjects, dipping someone's limbs into nitrogen oxide, and smashing it while they were awake. This was called Unit 731. Many presidents have ordered the military to commit crimes against humanity too. Obama ordered a drone and airstrike on a hospital full of innocent people, and so many people died. If there's worse than that I'm not sure I want to know, the 9-11 scrap is conspiracy as far as I know, not something concrete. Currently, they are abusing the fact that the whole population is tunnel-visioning on the corona pandemic to pass a highly controversial bill 
that will grant them access to every single phone call or message past sent received on American soil without warrant or court order. They know they can't order any company to build a back door, so what the bill is calling for is a way for companies to be held liable for crimes committed using their platform, even if the company had no knowledge of the crime. For example, if someone were to send child porn pictures through Imessage and they get caught, Apple could be charged alongside them for distributing child pornography. So the effect of this would be companies would backdoor their services to monitor them, so they can't be held legally responsible. Of course, once the backdoor is in place, law enforcement will just start subpoenaing records and companies would have to comply. While you are right, it does grant them access to encrypted data, people should be aware of the language they are trying to use to get there. They aren't asking directly for a backdoor, they are saying to companies backdoor your services for us or we can charge you with crimes. MK Ultra. Staging coups on democratic governments because they had oppositional ideologies. There is literally an entire wiki page on US staged coups. Allowing one of its own town's water supply to be poisoned for financial benefit. Appointing family to senior government positions. Agent Orange. Declaring war on a nation based on a false pretense of fighting terror, while doing nothing to the actual country that orchestrated the attack. At the same time, dragging other nations into this war and tearing relations with them, e.g. France, who you would not exist without. Because they didn't want to be involved, and then causing such instability that massive terrorist organizations blossomed out of it, then patting ourselves on the back for fixing a problem that the US started in the first place, except the issue is not even 100% fixed. Refusal to condemn terrorism from a particular viewpoint in order to protect your voter base. Denying their own citizens accessible healthcare claiming it is something only people lucky or wealthy enough should have, but making weapons considered a basic right. Smallpox blankets. Literally having a civil war over slavery and being one of the last western nations to make it unlawful. Systematic racial segregation to the point of drinking fountains, buses, laundromats not even allowing them to walk through the same door while simultaneously denying that this may have had a negative effect on huge swaths of these groups on a socio-economic level well into modern times. While also denying ongoing racism despite the fact that a huge chunk of the modern population was alive and well during those times of segregation and had no issue with it. Allowing large corporations to legally bribe politicians for outcomes that are unhealthy for the nation as a whole. Systematic pedophilia in the entertainment and business industries, and probably a lot more that was just not discovered yet. Allowing a media organization to publish and broadcast false information because the organization won with an argument claiming that their news was for entertainment and not for being factual, and making crap up was more entertaining to the audiences. It may be some other crap, some details may be wrong, but I'll find links in the morning. Edit. Apparently smallpox blankets was a lie, I retract that statement. Sandy Creek Massacre? 500 Colorado cavalry were sent to track down natives that were attacking settlers, for good reason, but that is a long story. They ended up coming to a Cheyenne village that was known to be peaceful. Its leader, Black Kettle, was a voice of peace for the natives and had even gone to Washington, D.C., to meet with President Lincoln and negotiate a lasting peace between Americans and Cheyenne. Lincoln gave him an American flag and told him that so long as it flew in their camp, no American would harm them. Anyways, this asshole Chivington was leading the cavalry and saw it as some kind of noble duty. After months of searching for aggressive natives and coming up empty-handed, the government ordered him to disband his force and go home. Chivington, now faced with the prospect of his crusade being an embarrassment, decided to attack Black Kettle's village, basically just to say he did something. The Colorado cavalry attacked in the middle of the night in mid-November, while everyone was sleeping. Eyewitness accounts are terrifying, and basically women, children, and men were run down as they tried desperately to flee across a frozen river. Black Kettle ran into the middle of the battle waving the American flag and screaming that they were friends of America, but the Americans turned on him, and he was forced to drop the flag and flee as well. The fact that Black Kettle survived is miraculous, but most of his clan did not, and the few that survived the battle mostly died of hypothermia and starvation, from literally fleeing through a frozen river in the middle of the night. 
cavalrymen raped live and dead women, including children, and cut off mape and female genitals and strapped them to their horses as decorations. Black Kettle and what remained of his clan ended up getting sent to a reservation where they mostly starved to death and Black Kettle gave up on peace as the younger generation flocked to warlords like Roman Nose and Crazy Horse. This ended up contributing to Red Cloud's war, as did most of the other atrocities in the West. Oh, also Chivington was known to have said. Nits make lice, a statement that referred to his campaign of exterminating native children along with everyone else. Oh and I'm pretty sure Colorado nearly elected him governor after all of this anyways. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.